I've been doing this almost every day for 27 years. What started out as an exercise for the body turned into an exercise for the mind. It allows you to think. For 75-year-old Larry Cook. There's been so many times when I'd start my walk and maybe I'm a little bit depressed or maybe I'm worrying about something. And then as I walk, it becomes better. Over the years, Larry has had a lot of reasons to walk. His home burned down during the Black Forest Fire in 2013. I only had about five minutes warning to clear out, so he lost everything. In 2018, he lost even more than that to cancer. In terms of grief, that was nothing compared to losing my wife last year. Uh, that's been the hardest thing to deal with. But he doesn't just walk to deal with the pain of losing his wife, Kay. We were together for 30 years, and I, it'll take me a while to get over that. Larry walks eight miles each day. We haven't gone three miles yet. This is his routine. I waved every passing car. So he could help others. I'm, I'm from the deep south, and back there, that was our culture. You spoke to everybody you saw. If you couldn't, couldn't speak, then you waved. A simple gesture that Larry believes can brighten up anyone's day. I guess more than anything, it's just unexpected. As you're driving along and you see somebody walking, you don't expect them to wave to you. For years, Larry would run this route. I used to say I ran so slowly that I'd get rear-ended by glaciers, or I ran so slowly that I'd time my miles with a calendar. Until a month ago, he had two good waving arms. Well, I had rotator cuff surgery. <laughs> I'm kind of an unlucky fellow lately. Now he spends about three hours each day walking the same streets. This is Colorado 83. We're going southbound right now. So he could wave to hundreds of people each day. Even if I can bring a, a moment's pleasure, even if it's momentary in somebody's life, then yes, that, that makes me feel good. He's been doing it for so long. They're kind of letting me know that they're glad to see me out here waving. Larry has become known around here as the waver and at times get stopped by his fans. Thank you, though. Even after so many years, he never gets tired of the view. 32 years I've been living in Colorado, and I still get high looking at those mountains. He never stops waving, even while talking to us. Well, they're just passing cars, and I, they expect me to wave. <laughs> because after 27 years, his exercise of body and mind has turned into an exercise in being polite. I'd like to think that if everyone would make a little special effort to be friendly to other people, it would help. A routine of courtesy every day, as long as he's able. Well, I'm 75. I would hope that I'm good for another 15 years. With photojournalist Luis Ramirez, Nelson Garcia. The day that I have to give it up will be a sad day for me. Nine News.